brand new in Excel for desktop is show changes. So that's this menu here, and we're going to see what it does. So here I am in Excel desktop, and here is the same file in Excel online. So here I can edit, and then I can see it says see new changes, and if I refresh, I can see that. Or for example, this guy can drag something down. This is fill, fill trin, get it? Then I can click see new changes, and then I can see that, and there's a drop down for see changes because he filled it down. So you can see what people have edited it, what it looked like before, and a lot of other things like this. So my name is David and I'm, and I love doing Excel videos as well as Power BI, PowerPoint, Zoom, Teams. If you're using Tech of the Workplace, I'm covering all my channels. So if you like this video, then just give me a like. I love this new feature, and I think it's going to be a game changer for collaboration. So not a lot of people know this, but actually you can collaborate on the same file from Excel desktop. You don't have to do this on Excel online. You don't have to do this on Google Sheets. From Excel desktop, you can save your file on OneDrive or SharePoint, and then you can share it with other people. And if you do this, then multiple people can open the file at the same time. So in this case, I have this one file saved and I've got auto save on. And with auto save, it means that it's saving as I type. And that means I can have it open here and this other person can have the file open at the same time. So using Excel online, you also have this feature. So in the review tab, you have show changes. It actually has existed on Excel online for a long, long time and just came to Excel desktop recently. There are a few ways you can access it. You can right click on a cell and you can choose show changes and it will do it just for that cell or you can do it for an entire column or a group. And as you can see here, it shows what the other person is checking, show changes on that range. And you can also right click on a sheet and show changes and it will show you just for that sheet. Or you can navigate around here, you can choose range, you can choose a sheet and go directly to whichever sheet you want. And you can choose clear filter and then it just shows you for your entire workbook. Uh, as you were seeing before, as someone types in something new, then you do need to click see new changes if you have it open. If you don't open it, then it'll just open up with the latest one. And note that if you drag down a formula or use autofill or that sort of thing, then see new changes, it's the same Excel desktop and online. You have to click see changes to expand it for more. And then you see all of the things that have been edited. Now, you can't go back and get it to how it was before, but it is still a really, really useful feature. There are different things. So this is the, the pencil icon for those, but I've been using this workbook all day. So there's a lot of other things. So merging cells will give you a special thing. So if I go to home and then merge cells. So a lot of Excel experts hate the merge cells feature. So that's kind of why they have put it separately as a thing so that it stands out. Or if you have a formula, then the formula will show as well. There you go. That's why we don't like merge cells. So yeah, if I just drag this across, then the formula will show instead of the output. You also have, if you insert a worksheet, then that is another kind of symbol. Or then if you delete a worksheet, then it also shows you that different symbol. Uh, things that are about viewing don't tend to show you. So for example, if I just open the Excel desktop one, then most of the things in the home tab won't actually do anything. If I change the color, well, let me see the newest changes. If I change the color of text, I won't see it showing there. It does work in the usual way with dynamic array formulas like this, by the way. Uh, if I choose conditional formatting as well, then that won't be showing. So it's just about kind of changing content rather than changing anything else. Uh, if you do something like insert a pivot table, then so over here, here's my pivot table, then it will just show me as insert a sheet. It won't show specifically a pivot table. It also doesn't really do anything for shapes or charts or anything like that or slices or timelines it kind of only works with stuff that's in the grid inside the cells not floating objects things like page layouts printing options it won't show yeah mostly inserted sheets um, and also 
if you insert rows or columns it will show you those or if you delete rows or columns as well if i go over here it will show me deleted and inserted when you get to the bottom of the list you can say see more changes now if it is an earlier version that you want to roll back to you can go to file and then info it has to be saved on the cloud for this and then version history and then this will show you all the versions and you can open the version as it was done these are all the kind of times where it's been edited so here it is you can either restore it and replace the existing file or you can just save as and see a copy I'm going to press x and don't save you need to make sure you are sharing it best to save it on a sharepoint folder that's already shared with someone else or a onedrive folder you can also by the way here you can change the name of the file without leaving the file which is quite cool and you can also change where it is now i say this is available for the current channel how do you know which channel you're on and what does that mean so firstly you have to be an office 365 monthly subscriber then you need to go to file and then account and then over here you will see which version you're on so i'm on the beta channel which means i actually get the features before they're released but if you're on the current channel you see current channel here then it's likely your version will be 2210 or 2211 if you're watching it around the time that this video is being released and what this means is, is the first two numbers are the year so 22 is 2022 and then 12 is december the 12th month if you'll see 2210 then you're october 2022 so that is how you can check for it the other version is the semi-annual channel and the semi-annual channel will not get this feature for a few months because it updates only every six months so lots of cool new features being released in Excel as we speak. So I keep a track of pipeline where I have everything that's been released. So copying data from a picture and getting that into cells that just got released. The navigation feature just got released as well. These are some things I'm really quite excited for. So that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. My name is David Benheim and I have tons of videos on Excel, PowerPoint, Google Sheets, Zoom, Teams. Using Tech of the Workplace, I'm covering on my channel. So subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. Thanks for watching.